Hello everyone, Devi here, welcome back to this channel, welcome to something a little different, I don't normally make videos like this, but for this machine, and how excited I am for it, I thought I'd do this. War Thunder has announced the Strike Master is coming, and I have been waiting for this machine for a good long time. Obviously, you can tell it's in the Royal New Zealand Air, uh, Air Force colours. And there's a couple of things to know about the jet. Number one, it is incredibly weak in terms of offensive armour. It's going to be. It's a light strike air aircraft. And when I say light, I mean light. They're basically was designed to be very cheap to operate and for countries that didn't have the same sort of defence budget of other nations. But I just think it's such a good looking aircraft. I mean, look at that. Look at how amazing that looks. So you get the choice of four 500 pound bombs and a couple of um, retard bombs, some schnebs, mighty mouses and some type 80 rockets, plus machine gun pods apparently, although I haven't noticed them, I don't remember noticing them. Gets two 7.62mm machine guns, I believe they are the same ones from the scout helicopter, they're located here basically under the air intakes. So quite close together, but they're only, I mean, they're pretty much the same calibre that you're going to find on the reserve biplane. So, you know, here it is on a rank 4 jet and sits at 6.0, which makes it pretty low as well. And it will probably be quite vulnerable to piston engine aircraft, especially stuff like the late Focke-Wulf 190s and P-51s. I just think it's such a good looking aircraft, and this being an Battle Pass vehicle opens up the door for stuff like the Dragonfly to be added and some of the other light close air support systems that the United States developed during like the Vietnam War for example. So I think it just adds something quite unique in that I'd argue that this entire Battle Pass is probably one of the better ones they've done for rewards in a long time. You know there's no reskin here this is something different. Just, just my thoughts on it. Um, Obviously, I, I can't really review the aircraft because A, I've never flown one in real life, and B, I don't have it in game yet, but I will be going for it. That'll be the only time I've ever said that about uh, Battle Pass other than the first one. But I will be going for this one. 